I'm going to do a quick Saturday morning um, video here for beginners. This is going to be how to create this guardrail in uh, Blender from Wolfenstein, the new order. All right, very simple to do. Starting off with my scene here, deleting the light and the camera. I've got my cube. And I'm going to take my cube and I'm just going to move it up a couple of grid spaces. All right, I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to select everything and press X. Only faces, get rid of those. Press two for edge selection. And we are going to go through and delete some edges. Those ones, X, edges. And we are going to delete. Let's see what else we need to delete. Let's take that actually and scale that in the Z, SZ. So we have that. Let's just go back to the diagram for a second so it comes around. And we have the back ones. So what we're going to get rid of are these two here, X edges. And we're left with that. Now I might come in to edit mode. And um, we want to make sure we get all the vertices. So select all four of those and just maybe move them up a little bit. So it's not too deep. So you could put anything in here, a button, a piece of technology. All right, so with that done, let's press A to select everything. And we want to bevel these vertices to make them a bit rounder. So shift control B, and then we're going to pull. I usually hold shift so it moves a bit slower. Pull like this here. Let me, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see this a bit better. Shift control B, hold shift, pull, split them like that. And I'm going to roll my mouse up so I have a total of five vertices there in each turn. You get something like that. Okay, now we right click and convert to curve. And over here in the curve menu, under geometry, this one here, bevel, bevel depth, start pulling that to the right. Again, I hold shift, moves a bit slower. Get a thickness that you like. I think I like that. We can shade smooth. And that's the beginning of our guardrail. Okay, next thing I want to do is come in here and select a straight piece by selecting this vertex and hold shift, select that one. So you have the two of them, shift D to duplicate and P separate by selection. So we have this piece now. I'm going to press three to look from the side, go into edit mode, and I'm just going to rotate 90, R90. Now I can take this and pull it down so that this piece goes into there, goes through, grab that vertex and pull it down a little bit. I don't think I want this the exact same diameter as this, so I'm going to select that. It's still a curve. This is 0.75 is what it's starting out. Try 0.7. See if that's small enough. That's probably okay. All right. My 3D cursor is still in the middle, so I can take this and I can mirror this to the other side. So we have this, and it's beginning to look like this thing here. Okay, all the way around, and those two vertical ones. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is put something where they join. So come in here and select this vertex. It's right in the middle, so Shift S, cursor is selected. Bring my 3D cursor right there. And now I'm going to bring in a cube. I take it, I'm going to scale it down a bit, something like that, so it fits over. Go back into object mode and control two, or come to the wrench and choose two uh, subdivisions. I'm going to go ahead and apply that and shade smooth and just look at the size of that. That's actually not bad for the size. So I'm going to leave that right there and look from the side and shift A mesh cylinder. Open this up. I'm going to leave it on end gone, but I'm going to change the vertices to 16. Okay, go into edit mode and S to scale. Scale it down. And if you're looking right from the side, you can just rotate 90 or rotate X 90. And then I'm going to scale it down again. And what I want is I just want the cylinder uh, peeking through. All right, I'm going to scale it in the Y, S, Y, a little bit bigger, maybe scale it down, something like this. Now, I'm going to go ahead and bevel these edges. I may have to bring this down a little bit so it lines up with the pipe a little, in which case I may actually have to bring the sphere down too a little bit. Um, one thing you can do to check, let's hide the cylinder, go into edit mode. You can see this almost circular pattern going around here. You can try to position, see the distance from this vertex to the 
to the pipe and this is from this one so I may want to just pull that down a little bit and just get it sort of even in there I'll take will bring the other cylinder back and I can probably scale this down now so it just is a little bit wider than this press 3 for face selection select that hold shift select that and I will probably be moving this down a little bit but let's go ahead and bevel it control B and pull just roll back till you have maybe two edges there and you can shade smooth that so let's have a look at this let's maybe select everything and move it down just a little bit more like that I think really this needs to come out so scale it in the Y let's do something like that okay now looking from the side I'm going to shift D and I'm going to rotate 90 that cylinder that pushes it through on the bottom but we don't want the top so I'm going to go into edit mode and in wireframe box select the whole top pull it down around the middle and X faces get rid of the faces that are on the inside okay so I might to even these up I might take this and pull it down just a little bit more and I've got that so that looks looks good to me so I'm gonna select those two not this bottom one look from the side shifty and pull it down here zoom in and line it up the way you like that's pretty good actually right in there okay so now I'm gonna select the cylinder look from the side and shifty rotate 90 and that puts that in place I may have to just adjust this a little bit all right so that's pretty good so now I'm gonna join take this and this and this and control J take this and this and this and control J and take both of them and control J all right shift C will bring the 3d cursor right back to the middle and with those selected I can press set origin to 3d cursor and then I can mirror those over to that side so it's coming along really good we can go ahead and apply that mirror and now I want to take this and I want to convert that to a mesh so it's a curve right now so scroll up to the top where it says resolution change that to about three and then right click convert to mesh I can take that now and join that to those pieces finally this one here let's set the resolution at three convert to mesh and join that so everything's going great now you just have to do the bottom part so come down to the bottom here and maybe select this edge shift alt and click that edge and bring the 3d cursor there shift s cursor is selected back into object mode look from the side oh from the side and shift a mesh torus i'm going to switch these values to 12 so 12 and 12 and now i'm going to come in here and in edge selection i'm going to shift alt and click this middle one here and press Control plus and then we can get rid of those that's fine x faces so now it looks like a tire scale it in until it touches the cylinder just like that maybe a bit more okay fine now i'm going to come underneath and in edge selection i'm going to shift alt and click this innermost edge there look from the side press e to extrude pull down a little ways and s to scale just flare it out but not too much just a little bit i'm going to take one edge loop control r and slide it up here this is going to help with shading and now we can shade smooth and we have this all right and finally shift a mesh plane go into edit mode and scale it down you can leave this square or make it more of a rectangle i'm going to pull it down you can look from the top and say well maybe i will scale it in the axle a little bit it's a bit more rectangular and then i'm going to e to extrude pull down and s to scale it out e to extrude down a little bit more let's get rid of that bottom face we don't need it select the whole thing press 2 for edge selection and control b to bevel and just pull it apart a little bit with two edges all right we can shade smooth that that's what that looks like and that might be flipped so let's go to our face orientation notice it's red all 10 recalculate outside we can take that we can join it to that let's go back to here and we want to mirror this to the other side so shift c to bring the 3d cursor back to the middle and set origin to 3d cursor and mirror 
At that point, we can apply that mirror and select that control chain. My kids are up. It's a crazy Saturday morning. I just wanted to do this for you real quick. And there you go. You have your thingamajig. You might want to go M, merge by distance, in case there's any stray vertices. Double check that everything is facing the right way. And then come over to your mat caps and add some kind of mat cap that you like. You could try this, this uh, shiny one there. Uh, you can turn on the shadow. I'm actually going to go over to this one here. Shift A, mesh, circle. Uh, leave that 32. F to make a face. Scale it up just so you have a bit of a ground plane. And I can pull that up or you can pull the object down just so you get a sense of what it looks like with a bit of shadow on there. Okay, so that is a quick way to make something like that. You could still go into this if you needed to. If you look down from the top, go into wireframe, one for vertex selection, you could still box select this, pull it in if you want it shorter. You know, if you need that style of design, or make it longer. And if you need that, you could come in here and select individual pieces of all this and uh, let's say actually this let's get all these things here select those control l to get what's linked we're not getting it all we're not getting the cylinder so maybe an easier way is from the side in wireframe box select that and i've got everything and you could duplicate that along have another one and you have a bigger piece all right, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.